Very pleased to be joined now by two stars of the Badgers defense, linebacker T.J. Edwards, safety Dakota Dixon. Guys, the players change, the coaches change, and yet the beat goes on. This is such a consistent team, particularly on the defensive side of the ball. I'm interested from both of you, but T.J., I'll start with you, and then Dakota, you can follow up. Why do you think you're able to achieve such consistency here? Yeah, you know, I think uh, we're at a place where we hold ourselves to a high standard. Um, you know, you have guys who love to play the game and guys who love to play together, quite frankly. And, um, you know, you guys who want to make plays all the time, and you also have guys who are responsible enough to know what they have to do in order for this defense to be successful. So I think that's, you know, some of the reason why we've had some success. Dakota? Yeah, just kind of piggybacking off of that. I mean, I think it really involves the culture, um, especially on the defensive side. We do have a high standard. Um, so it, it, it really is day in and day out for us. We practice like that, and we, we expect to make plays like that. Dakota, last year the secondary really made a lot of plays, more plays than I think they've made in the years previous because of Coach Leonard. I think he had a big part of that. What were some of the things that he did to change that group around a little bit? I think the biggest thing is he kind of let us play our, the, who we are, play our strengths. Um, he also um, changed our, our IQ on the game mm. drastically. Um, I know just uh, uh he's, he's got me personally I've, i'm so impacted with him uh just the way he's coached me personally um it's it's, it's it's phenomenal how much you learn from a guy like that 10 years in the nfl um, we watch nfl tape we don't even just watch our practices or watch college football we watch professionals do it so um i think it's just really learning more of the game and expanding um, and i think that really allowed us to be a little bit more versatile and make a lot more plays so, last year. So now you fast forward to this year, he's the coordinator. Yeah. How's that relationship changed, if at all? Uh, not much, actually, not much. The only thing is the standard. Um, we, we expect a lot from ourselves as a secondary. Um, obviously, we have a, a, few, a couple starters coming back, myself included, with uh, Derek Tindall. Um, but we also have two great phenomenal players as well, Natrell Jameson and Nick Nelson, um, who, who are great players. So. Um, we, we are expecting a lot more, actually, from ourselves, um, and we're not exactly um, hoping to be acknowledged or nothing for it, but it, it's just the standard we have for ourselves as a, as a group. You know, in, in this defense, the linebackers get a lot of the credit, but there are three big guys that are plugging up a lot of room up front. Talk about them a little bit. Those are the those are the dogs, man. The guys that, that hold it down for the defense. You know, they're the they're the backbone. Uh, they do all the grunt work and. I don't think they get nearly enough credit as they, they deserve. But here's your shot. Yeah, no, those, <laughs> those are my guys. Connor Sheehy, Believe A, you know, Alec James and Chikwe, just guys who've been holding it down for, you know, three years, to be honest with you. And, uh, you know, I think they're going to be absolute monsters this year. I, I'm excited to see it. Just to have, include on that, we, we wouldn't have made the plays we, we made last year without our D-line. That's fair. You know, the pressure that they, they, they caused for us, uh, the, the game winning in LSU, was not possible without our D-line, you know, forcing that throw. So it's our D-line, everything. It's the culture of our, once again, to the standard. T.J. Edwards, Dakota Dixon, have a great year, guys. Thanks Thank for you. spending a few minutes with us. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.